So in this session, uh, we learn about next and iter built-in functions, uh, which is a, a key to fully understand generators. Uh, because you might be wondering, uh, it's pretty much the same, how are things different? Generator is also a function, I could do a function. Uh, okay, yield and return are something different, but I'm still not very clear about generators. Uh, so that's where uh, a, a fully understanding generators, we will use next and iter, which are built-in functions. So the next function allows us to access the next element in a sequence, and iter does something similar. Let's check it out. And I'm going to go over to my Jupyter Notebook. And I will be talking about iter and next functions, right? Great. Let's see an example. So I'm going to say def uh, create a fun uh, function or, I'm sorry, create a generator. And it will be a simple generator. Okay. Then for all x in range, yield uh, x, yeah? So now I'm going to assign a simple gensum value, g is equal to, so I've assigned my function a value. Now if I print next of g, it starts with 0, like this. And then I'm just preparing uh, it to print every number again. And second time I print, it will print one. The third time I print, the fourth time I print, it's a stop iteration. So because it's only printing till three, which is zero, one, and two, and and it stops iteration after that. After yielding all the values, next cause the stop iteration error. What this error informs us is that the values have been yielded. You might be wondering that why don't we get this error while using a for loop? The for loop automatically catches this error and stops calling next. Let's go ahead and check out how to use the iter method. Um, so we know that strings are it iterables, right? So I'm going to create a string and say hello. And, and on the same way, I will iterate over the thing. So for all uh, in letters in S, print letter. Right? So this will print all the letters like this. We know we've done this in the previous class. But that doesn't mean the string itself is an iterator, right? We can check this with the next function. So I'm going to say next. And now I iterate uh, over it, uh, each object. Interesting. We just got an error. This means that a string object supports iteration. But we cannot directly iterate over it as we could with a generator function. Now that is where iter function allows us to do just that. So now I'm going to say is equal to create an object called s underscore iter, which is nothing but has a method uh, for iterating over our object. Then I will take next, and then I will iterate over this. And I have built in the capabilities for my next method, the capabilities of iteration. And now I can iterate over. Uh, my string each time like this. So I keep going again and again and it until um, all the letters are done. Yeah. And see what happens. And it stops iteration. Great. So now you know how to convert objects that are iterable to iterators themselves. The main takeaway from this lecture is that using the yield keyword at a function we will cause the function to become a generator. So it's nothing, everything is the same, but I only put a keyword called yield, and that makes this function a generator. Now this change can save us a lot of memory for large use cases. Um, there are some uh, informative links uh, that you can check it out and understanding more about generators. Thanks for watching. <laughs>